cars have really always been in my blood. Growing up, you know, my dad had BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, all the sporty German cars. Um, and I, I remember we used to go out in the countryside and just tear around. And I think that's really what what made me fall in love with cars was, you know, it wasn't playing with Hot Wheels. It wasn't playing Need for Speed on the Xbox. It was, um, it was actually getting out there and, and going for drive, going for rides in the, you know, in a real car and feeling the G-forces and the, the road. And it was just a feeling that was intoxicating. And of course, you know, as a young kid growing up, my, you know, everybody's waiting for that moment that you turn 16 and you can go get your driver's license and get out there and, you know, drive on your own and, you know, experience, like, experience the world. I don't think anything reinforced my love for cars like, like getting my driver's license and being able to go out and drive on my own. My name's Graham Kane and this is my 2013 Ford Mustang V6. So I got this car when I was a junior in high school. I was 17. And, you know, I, I did what every 17-year-old boy with a Mustang would do. I'd go out, go out for drives in the countryside and fly around and get in trouble a time or two. Um, but you know, that's, that's kind of what Mustangs are about. They're about being rebellious and um, living free. Um, that's what I've always loved about them. You know, they have a, they have a charisma that you just don't get with any other car. Um, because they're not designed to be luxurious. They're not necessarily designed to be the fastest car on the street. They're not, they're not necessarily designed to handle the best. They're just kind of designed for having fun um, and just kind of being a good car. And this car definitely has been. I've, I've had this car, you know, like I said, since it was new. It had 200 and some odd miles on it when we first got it, and now I have 108,000 plus. So it's, I mean, it's treated me really, really well. It's been very reliable. Um, of course, it is the 3.7 liter V6, which in my opinion is just an absolutely fantastic engine. I haven't, I've driven very few cars um, since getting this one that, that I think can compare of course there's faster cars out there of course there's cars that make a better noise than this but I've, I've I've been blown away with just how reliable and how much fun this engine can be um, and of course the most controversial bit of the car is that it is a six-speed automatic transmission um, a lot of the purists I get a, I, I get you know I get a lot of comments about, oh, why didn't you get a manual? Oh, it's, the, it's an automatic. It's not a real car. And, you know, I mean, it's, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. That's fine. You can think whatever you want to think about it. But I drive this car every single day, not just for fun. And with the number of miles that I've put on this thing and the amount of time that I've had it, I mean, it's 108,000 miles in just under six years so do the math it's 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 above average that's for sure and I haven't had a single issue with the transmission I haven't had a single issue with the engine and I think that it's a it's a, been a great combo um, and I have a lot of fun with this car regardless of the drivetrain that's in it um, one thing that I really do love about Mustangs though is just how how customizable they are. There's tons of aftermarket options for this car. Uh, if you take a second to look at my car, I've tried to stay very true to what it means to have a Mustang, but 
I have gone an extra step to try to try to make the car look unique, um, but also very factory. Yeah, I kind of want everything to look like it could have been there uh, when I bought the car, just kind of to keep the car clean. I don't want to clutter it up too much. Of course, I've made a few changes underneath the car as well. Um, it's nothing major, nothing out of the ordinary, but uh, I do have adjustable Coney shocks under it, Ford Racing uh, springs, and uh, adjustable pan hard bar, things like that, just to kind of um, just to kind of help tie the car down because these cars from the factory they just they don't handle very well. They sit very high. Um, and they're comfy, but that's not exactly what I wanted from this car. I didn't want it to be floaty and comfortable. I wanted it to be, you know, performance oriented. I wanted to be able to t toss it around in the mountains a little bit and have fun with it, um, which I think, you know, the V6 Mustang is really, really great at. It's got that lighter front end and has a better weight distribution than the heavier GTs. Um, so it's really flickable and you can have a lot of fun with it. And, on the curvy roads um, and that's I think that's one thing that I really love about this car is that you know while it is still pretty comfortable and, and nice to live with every single day it still it still offers me a whole lot of fun uh, whenever I want to take it out into the countryside or take it up to the mountains and throw it around it's you know it's ready to play even when it's just so subdued on the street this car has just been, you know, something else to me. It's not a car anymore in my mind. It's it's a member of the family, really. It's it's been my trusty steed. It's like my it's like my silver, you know, Lone Ranger analogies. But it's um it's always been good to me, and it's taken me all over the world. You know, it's I've I've very rarely gone somewhere without this car. This car is, is taking me all over the place. It's taking me, I mean, we drove it to Colorado um, two years ago. And I mean, that was probably the best experience I've ever had. And being able to do that from the driver's seat of your own car. I mean, we put, we put 5,000 miles on this car in, in a week. And it just took it like a champ didn't show any signs of wear and tear didn't didn't let us down took us to the took us up to 14,000 feet which is just unbelievable I mean I, I could hardly breathe up there but the car just you know it went it just did what it was supposed to do she's always been good always been good and I'm sure it will continue to be good. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm planning on keeping this car for absolutely as long as I can. I mean, it's, it's, the sentimental value makes this thing worth more to me than just about anything else. And I, I could not, I don't think I could ever part ways with this car. Um, I don't think I ever will. You'd have to make me one heck of a deal, and I don't even know if I'd take it then. It's, it's, that, it's that much a part of me, you know?